In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my Tormac 8L lathe from the standard OXA tool post to this much larger AXA tool post. You can see it's probably three or four times the mass of this system. And we have experienced some issues in using this uh, for some projects in which I was hanging on a, a centering a drill chuck off this tool post and I was seeing some vibration in the system. It just wasn't stable enough. So this system is much bigger and heavier and that problem should be eliminated. But in doing that, I need, I need to remake the, the base. The base is too high, and the system is taller, so I need to remake a, a shorter base. I also want to remake the supports. These supports adjust your tool base to get it square. And some people have expressed some problems with this in that after they get this all set up and aligned, and with use, the system tends to move. So I want to make systems a little bit more beefier uh, to eliminate that problem that uh, the uh, tool post holds this position. So I've already started to machine the new base for the system. It's a little bit shorter. This is about over an inch tall. This is be about a half inch tall. So the system will, will sit on there like that and fit in there quite nicely. So the, the changes I'm making, instead of using these supports, which are like a quarter inch thick by an inch long, you see my supports here are much stronger and beefier. I'll be drilling and tapping two holes in each side so I can get a better adjustment of the angular position of this tool post. And then those uh, screws, I'll put set screws in there with some lock nuts on them so they can be tightened up to lock them in position. So those combinations of, you know, being a stronger and beefier and having some uh, screws with lock nuts on, that should eliminate the movement of the system as it's, once it's set up on the, uh, on the lathe. So let me uh, proceed with this. My next step is to drill and tap the hole in the center for this uh, mounting screw. And then I need to drill and tap holes in the side here for the adjustment screws to set the angular position of the uh, tool post. So let me go and uh, do that machining, and then we'll put this back on the lathe and uh, do a test on it. Now right, here's the completed plate. And you see I have four set screws with locking nuts here and also here. I got my center hole tapped. So the next thing is to remove the previous system. When I was removing the uh, tool post base, I was expecting four screws holding it in place, but there only were three. So as a result, I had to modify my system to accommodate the uh, three holes. Yeah, I assembled the system and uh, a few issues uh, arose. Uh, the uh, first issue is this screw, I assume these four screws were all square, but they're not. This one's offset by like 60,000 of an inch this way and this way. So I had to modify that. So that was a one change I made. And then when I put a tool in, it's at the very top to get it in center. So this base plate, which right now is a half an inch, needs to go up a quarter an inch. So I gotta remake this plate. And uh, at, at the same time, uh, this hole's not needed. So I'm gonna remake this plate. I mean, this, step, this is a one inch thick. I'll be making it from aluminum, it's one and a quarter inch thick. So this top section will be the same height, but I'll raise the base up a quarter of an inch eliminate that hole, and I'll get this corrected. Uh, so that's, those are the changes I'll make to uh, modify this. Other than that, it looks like it lines up good. These four set screws will work really nice uh, for aligning it, and then the lock screws will lock it in place, and once that's in place, that will not move. So that's a nice, nice setup using four screws with locking nuts on it. Uh, so the main issue is just the height. It's, I thought it, since it was so much higher, I had to make it lower. But in reality, i got to make it a, a quarter inch higher. And that'll be fine for either 3 8 or half inch uh, tool bits. I'll be machining two new designs of the tool post base for the AXA tool post. In this first version of the tool post base, I increased the thickness of the base from one half inch in the prototype to three-quarter inch in this design. 
This increased height was needed to enable the tool post holder to align in the middle of the tool post. In the second version of the tool post base, I increased the width of the base from 3.5 inches to 4.0 inches and moved the L-shaped alignment blocks one half inches to the left. This design will enable the tool post to be moved one half inches to the left to provide some additional space between the tool post handle and the lathe cover. This additional space was needed due to the increased size of the AXA tool post and the longer handle. I will now briefly describe the machining of the new tool post bases using my CNC mill. This video will be shortened up and sped up 10 times the actual machining speed for viewing purposes. I started out with two aluminum blocks, one and a quarter inches thick. The first step uses a centering drill to mark the position of the three mounting holes on the base and was followed up with drilling the three quarter inch diameter holes completely through the aluminum blocks. Next I used the one half inch diameter end mill to machine away the bulk of the aluminum block to produce the one half inch tall L-shaped bracket that will be used to align the tool post. This section of the video is sped up 20 times the actual cutting speed and then I just showed the first and last steps of the milling operation again for viewing purposes. This is the final milling step cutting down to the final depth of one half inch. I then shortened the two ends of the L bracket. Uh, this additional uh, moving of the stock was needed to enable the uh, tool post holders to clear when uh, using the uh, tool post. Next I used a 3 8 inch diameter end mill to produce the 1 quarter inch deep countersink holes. These holes will be used to recess the hex head mounting screws below the surfaces of this tool post base. And here's the results of the machine tool post base. In likewise manner I machined the other plate. Next I drilled the 0.201 inch diameter holes which will later be tapped for the 1 quarter inch by 20 threads per inch set screws. I repeated this operation on the second side of the L bracket. Not shown here was the actual tapping of these holes and also the drilling and tapping of the hole for the tool post bolt. I just finished remaking the base for the AXA tool holder, which I plan to use on my on my ADAP AL uh, Tormac lathe. And this is my first prototype. And my tool post mounts on here like this. And this was the original OXA, quite a bit smaller. But I found this was actually about a quarter inch too, too sh uh, short. So I made a new one. This one's a quarter inch taller. And it mounts here. Now this uh, system has a handle which is kind of long and it came out pretty far. So I, I made a third version in which I actually moved the tool post back a half an inch. And this is the new version right here mounted on the lathe. So what this consists of, I actually move my support back a half an inch. I have a half inch of space up front. I have three mounting holes to mount it to the plate on the uh, 8L lathe and I have my post for my uh, tool post and I have uh, screws here for adjustment with lock nuts on them. So let me go ahead and attach this to the lathe. Make sure it's securely fastened. One more screw. I could put this in because the uh, set screw, the screw to attach it to the uh, lathe was in the way, so I have to add this fourth one. But these are all set screws, and once you set them, there's locking nuts, so you can lock them in place. And then my tool post goes on here. And this is why I moved it back so this handle has a little more room in the front. I may lose a half an inch of travel, but uh, I'm only doing a small piece on here, so I don't need that extra travel. So these set screws now can be used to adjust this to get it perfectly uh, square. So that's the next step is actually to uh, 
to square it with the lathe. So let me boot up the lathe and we'll uh, square it. I attached my dial indicator with a magnetic base to the lathe bed. I also installed a tool post holder onto the tool post and locked it in place. I'll be using the flat surface of this tool post holder to align the tool post using the dial indicator. I moved the z-axis until the dial indicator read a low value and then moved the x-axis to see the deflection. I then used the set screws to adjust the tool post to minimize this deflection. I repeated the process until I had minimal deflection of the dial indicator. I then further tightened the tool post bolt, adjusted and tightened all the set screws, and then finally used the locking nuts to lock the set screws in position. I'm now ready to actually start testing the system by uh, running some parts, but I need to first uh, set up my tools uh, to get the uh, height adjusted. So I'm using my gauge to adjust these, and I'll be adjusting two tools for this project. So after inserting the uh, tool in the tool post holder, I tighten the clamp to make sure it's tight in place. I also made sure that the uh, set screw for the tool post holder was tightly uh, always seated to the bottom. And then I can use the uh, screw to adjust the height until my bubble uh, is in the middle of my gauge. And then lock it in place. You can also notice now that my tool post uh, holder is no longer at the top of the tool post since I uh, raised my uh, base, you know, quarter inch. Next I'll be machining some more of the AccuSlice bearing standoffs that I machined in my previous video. In this previous video I had used 3 8 inch lathe tooling. But I changed the lathe tooling to one half inch tools for this testing. I also increased my speeds of cutting. Previously my machining time was just over three minutes per piece. With these changes and a new AXA tool holder, my machining time now is just over two minutes per piece. The resulting machine standoffs were just as good if not better than the previous tooling with the OXA tool holder. And here is a finished machine piece just coming off the lathe. As an additional test, I next machined some AccuSlice bearing standoffs from some 303 3 quarter inch diameter stainless steel rods. I lowered the cutting speed slightly and changed the lathe tool tips. The lathe with this new AXA tool post worked quite nicely. This is one of the finished machine parts right off the lathe. Here are some close-up shots of the new AXA tool post with the aluminum tool post base used to mount the tool post to the Tormac 8L lathe. Sorry for the slight jiggling of the camera, but this video was shot by hand holding the camera. The major changes in the design of the AXA tool post base are larger and beefier brackets with four set screws with locking nuts. This combination of the larger AXA tool post and these improved brackets with set screws and locking nuts will ensure that the tool post will hold its position with continued use of the lathe. We anticipate that all of these changes will improve the performance and accuracy of the 8L lathe for my future projects. This concludes this video on the conversion of my Tormac 8L lathe from the uh, OXA tool post to a much heavier and beefier AXA tool post system. It's about, you know, probably three or four times the mass of the OXA. Uh, I did shorten the handle on this because it, it's much bigger than the, uh, the previous system. And I actually modified my mount to move the whole thing in a half an inch. The other addition I made was the setting of these uh, four set screws with locking nuts. So once you get the system set up with the tool post perfectly perpendicular to the uh, length of your 
uh, then your travel. Uh, you can lock it in place and then these four set screws with the locking nuts lock it in place so it can't move. So this should eliminate the problem with the tool post moving with time uh, as some pe previous people have commented in the past. Also the larger tool post gives me a little more room. I can actually lock my uh, cooling system on the uh, side of the tool post. So, so far I'm happy with the system. I've only run one job on it so far, but we're running more jobs. Uh, my next job is making some brass pieces for uh, my uh, AccuSlice indexing system. So that'll be working on that project in the next uh, few weeks. So it'll give us, an, give us some additional testing with that project. So once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, as always, please give us a call or drop us an email. We're always happy to hear from you.